really cool Cadillac Coupe de Ville. I love the colour. Colour really suits it, I think. It's got uh, white leather interior. If you check out the channel, you also see I filmed a 74 Cadillac Eldorado convertible uh, recently, so check the uh, episode out on that. This is a, a big, giant green Cadillac Coupe de Ville. This model would be, I think, a 75. I oh, know this is a 74. This is the 1974 model. Uh, if you also look on the channel, you'll see uh, my friend Greg. He's got a black 74 Fleetwood Brougham that he's owned for about 40 years. Uh, there's a couple of episodes on there, just an overview and also a ride and drive. But this is the uh, the Coupe de Ville model, which is probably the main the main selling uh, vehicle, most popular model back in 74. I actually quite like the grille. Some people don't like it, but I think that egg crate grille with that more simplified headlight design looks better than the 71 to 73 series. It's probably more conventional in its appearance, but I think it still looks good. I love it's got the, the green dashboard, the green steering wheel. A giant big uh, opera window. American cars of this period also had uh, rollover um, standards that they had to meet. I think they had to take about two and a half times the weight of the vehicle on their roof if they rolled over. Plus you've got the big um, the bumpers. So you've got this sort of plastic sort of filler piece and these bumpers sort of on hydraulic ram so it actually absorbs the impact. Hood emblem there as well, which is kind of cool. But yeah, these bumpers here are on um, shock absorber rams at a five mile an hour impact uh, without any damage so into a solid wall, uh, five miles an hour without, and the headlights and um, indicators and everything still had to be operational with that level of impact. So I actually think the bumpers are quite nicely integrated into this design, uh, they're not sticking out as much as some other vehicles. Anyway, that's a uh, 74 Cadillac Coupe de Ville.